Welcome to You Be The Judge, where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Iceberg Green. So it's time to get our judge on. So parents, right here, y'all see it. So is this y'all problem? Uh, I know, you know, the kids, they, you know, they stay active. They got a lot of stuff going on and they do stay preoccupied with that internet a lot. Um, so it can become a distraction. Now, parents, hey, I know you want to keep your kids busy. I know you want to keep them active, but there's other activities. Okay. This is a distraction. You know, did you know, uh, these video games and the internet, it, it, it lowers people attention span, period. That's why when you tell kids something, you'll be like, Hey man, go do this. Take care of this. And you say, Hey, what did I just tell you? They can't tell you, but they can tell you every level of that game. I'm telling you, they could, they got that perfected. They can tell you which level, all that stuff. But when you say, Hey man, handle this math and all this other stuff. They look at you like, but see, that's what I'm talking about. You be the judge though. I'm okay. <clears throat> Let me put this in context for y'all. Okay, I'm sure y'all seen the stuff on the internet about these kids getting upset when they get their games took. And you, <clears throat> you right now can go talk to your kids and say, hey, if I take this game from you, uh, would you be able to uh, do everything I asked you to do? What's more important to you, that game or me? What I want y'all to do, parents, take the game for maybe a week, two weeks, and see how they respond to that. See how they're able to adapt and deal with reality. You know, because one thing about those video games, it's not reality. And the kids get stuck in that world as if, um, okay, I want to get back to that. And they forget about reality. And we got to raise our kids to be on point. And these video games is a distraction. I'm sure a lot of parents can agree with that. You be the judge, though. Um, <clears throat> I've seen it over the times when I was a kid. You know, we uh, had Nintendo. And when we got it... Um, we was excited. We was ready to play. <clears throat> we played it, you know, duck hunt, all that. But one thing about it, um, my grandmother, my uncles, my mom, rest in peace. It was other stuff they uh, had me do, you know, from, uh, learning how to fix a bike to actually making my own bike to plant basketball, to meet new people, friends, um, and going outside interacting, you know, that's what it was about. That's how we were able to understand society, you know, because we're in it. But when you're stuck behind a video game, your kids are not understanding. And you can say, hey, this is what's going on. You guys be prepared for this. When if you go to school and they'll forget that. Parents, just test it. Give your kids an assignment. Say, hey, man, do this. this is how I want you to do it. Leave. <clears throat> Come back and say, hey, man, explain to me how you got it. Explain how you did it and all that. They're not going to be able to do it. What they're going to do is go to Google. See, and that's another thing, this Google stuff, it's making it easier for kids to forget stuff because they'll go to Google, get the answer, um, and that's it. They don't understand the, the story behind it. Um, they just know the answer. So when people question them about, hey, how did you get this answer? They don't know. But one thing they can tell you is what level of video game they own, what level they need to pass. They can tell you the characters. They can tell you how to spell their names. They can tell you all that stuff. But when you ask them a critical question about life, they're not going to be able to answer it. So I believe, you be the judge, that these video games is a distraction. It could be the problem in your household. Maybe you need to address that right now. You know, when your kids get out of school, you know, maybe you need to sit down and talk to them and see what's more important to them. Hey, if I take this away from you, do you still have an ambition? You know, you need to talk to your kids. Say, hey, man, it, it, what other ambition do you have besides playing this video game? Because you're good at that. I'm sure your kids are great at video games. You ask them what level, what game they playing, they're going to be like, I conquered that. I did that. Which, you know, look, don't get me wrong. Video games playing, it's, it's fun. <clears throat> it helps your kid um, interact, you know, in a different way, the way this world is turning, you know, with all this virtual AI and all that stuff. You Okay, cool. But it's not reality. And, you know, when you get your kid exposed to all the stuff that's on the Internet, you're not checking their phones. Um, you're not seeing their friends. You're not even meeting their friends because most of them are online. So when your kid is having a friend and having a conversation online, you don't know what they're talking about. I'm serious. So, uh, and you know, they kids talk and they may give up too much information that you know nothing about. So I'd suggest parents, if this is your problem, stay monetizing your kids activity, find out what they watch and find out who they friends are on those video games. I suggest you do it. This is just a suggestion. You be the judge, but this is important specifically for uh, black kids. You know, we are already at a disadvantage when it comes to being in public schools and we don't need no more distractions, parents. 
we got to get our kids on point. Um, and I'm going to do my best, you know, um, to keep these kids on point over here because we got to raise them strong in reality. You know, it's about reality. It's not about virtual reality because that's fake. So keep your kids out of that fake um, reality and bring them back to reality. Check their ambitions, you know, because it has to be more than this. I'm telling you, if they are great at them video games, they should be great in life. Period. If your kid can pick up a video game and conquer it, do all this other stuff, it, um, 2K, uh, Madden, all that, and they raw, they need to be raw in them books and listening to you, you know, the par parents. If you tell your kids to do something and it's getting away, if you tell your kids to do something and this get away right here, you got a problem. Okay? And see how they act when you take it. That's when you're going to be able to determine where your kid at mentally. Take that video game. And see where they are mentally. You be the judge, though. After you do it, you be the judge. Come back and let me know how that worked out for you. I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm going to end it by saying what's important to you uh, parents out there? What's important to your child, right? Um, you know, and this right here becomes important to your child. You know, so you got to understand what's more important to your child and also what's more important to you as a parent. Because this can be a distraction to your kid. And they'll forget all the lessons you taught them. You would have to, you know, and we don't want them to get in society and the world have to teach them shit. You want them to leave that house with uh, knowledgeable, ready for society. Because it's a real world out there. It's a real world out there, not this. Okay, so get your kids ready, man. This is just a message for my parents out there, specifically for the black parents out there. Because, you know, hey, I'm going to keep it a buck. We try to use this to keep our kids occupied, but, hey, it's not working. I'm going to keep it real. That shit don't work. So keep your kids on point and point out some ambitions that they need to have. Besides this, like I said, if they can rock on 2K, Madden, uh, Call of Duty, whatever the other game. What's the other one? Grand Theft. And they got all the stuff. You're like, oh, I just made it to this next level. Okay, we need to make it to that next level in books. Don't let them be bringing home D's and C's, but they on this 24 hours. I'm just saying, y'all better get it right. I'm telling you, monetize this, man, because it's important. Uh, excuse me, it's important going forward with us. Because our kids are the future, man. They are the future. And they're trying to distract them with this type of shit. They're trying to. And then when I say they, you know what I mean. The powers that be, white supremacy. The people that control the media. The people that make these video games. What do you think they're making them for? Okay. To keep your kid's mind off reality. And it's a, it's, a, it's a reality going on out here. You feel me? That we have to pay attention to. Okay? So if this is your problem. I'm talking to all parents. You know? Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to just let y'all know. This, this applies to all parents. But me being a black man in a, a society where we've always been at a disadvantage. I have to point out where we need help. Okay, so this is just a lesson for the day, y'all parents. You be the judge. If it helps you out, let me know. If not, if you want to keep your kids playing video games and you feel like it's going to make their life better, keep it lit. I'm not, hey, I'm not here to do stop you from doing that. But I just want you to feel where I'm coming from with this being a distraction. But other than that, you be the judge, man. I'm out of here, man. I, I got work to do, man. I got work to do. But y'all have a good one, man. I'm out. Okay, so I just put it out there and you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all.